Well, having bought the business and invested in the business, we're obviously pretty surprised and amazed that we were going to have to be moving down the Thames. When I got the call about the bomb, I just thought another drama in the day of the life at the Tatchell Castle. One of the biggest challenges in my career so far, no doubt. The reason we've had to move it is because uh, it's part of the Tideway project, we're cleaning up the River Thames. So because of that, we're building out into the river, reclaiming some land, and that's where the boat used to be. The worst is to see it sink. That'd be my worst fear. I felt quite stressed at the beginning, but then very excited when I heard that we were going to get an even a better location for our event. When we learnt that we were moving 100 metres just down the Thames, opposite the London Eye, closer to Westminster Bridge, we could see the advantages. Imagine a floating bar in front of the London Eye, a stone's throw from Westminster. This is, uh, costs a lot of money. It's multi-millions to move this boat. You wouldn't believe the amount of effort it's taken to get us here today to get everything moved. Yeah, it's 100 yards up the road. Um, it's amazing to take five months to move something 100 yards. The complicated issue is the, the marine side of it, the naval architecture side. It's all about public safety. Stonegate want to make sure that the thing is as safe as, as it can be. And you need to be able to demonstrate that you have thought of all eventualities and tried to cater for them. 950 people we go on this boat, so stability is all important. A lot of the work's hidden under the water, so all the piling we've done is hidden under the water. We've had divers in the river and we found an unexploded bomb, which is uh, quite entertaining. I remember getting the call and thinking, oh my God, not another drama on the tax. We found the bomb in a barge. They'd been dredged up out of the Thames and luckily the team that was on the site had been trained in unexploded ordnance the week before and spotted this bomb. So then we went into our emergency response procedure. When I got the call about the bomb, I'd already seen it on national news and saw the embankment closed. Finding a bomb itself was the start of the problem really, because the thing is then is, is, are there any more bombs there? So we then had to get the divers back in, and uh, because of the delays to the move, we then had to work the divers 24-7 to get uh, to catch up as much time as possible. You couldn't even begin to make it up. I mean, what else could have gone wrong with the project? Before we did the move, we had to measure the vessel, uh, and the problem was the vessel's floating around on the waves and everything, so it's not staying in one position, so it's very hard to get an accurate measurement. You have to be careful of all those people in there. If they get their legs, hands or arms in the wrong position and the ship suddenly lurches or moves, it, it could cause them a problem. As soon as I see it sail away, I'd be happy as Larry said that and I know at least it's in position. Today is a go-live day, so hopefully we're ready to go in the next hour or so so we can get the boat moving and get cracking on it. The most complicated bit is what they're doing now, perhaps, is just getting it away from the two mooring dolphins here and getting it reattached to the two mooring dolphins just upstream. Because the tide's going down there, it's probably stuck. They've got to take the pressure off it so they can release it to get out. There she go. She's away. Yeah, keep going. She's gone. Yeah, the tub is going out, the devout's going out. She's gone, look, she's released. At last, she's on her way. That's good. That is one million pounds in action. We're not showing it, but we're all very, very uh, relieved and very happy that it's gone smoothly. The boat's in its new location, but now the work really starts for us.
one of the things for us was to give a warm welcome to everybody who wants to come on to the pub on the Thames. It is a pub on the Thames, but actually in a world-class location. The move has certainly turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Our main event of the year is New Year's Eve, and people uh, come on board just to watch the fireworks. Even a few yards up the river, it makes such a difference. A venue, such a unique venue in Westminster, and uh, hopefully we're going to get a lot of new business from it. It's a much better proposition than it ever was, and I think you know all of the hard work has been massively worth it for it to be what it is today.